Alright guys, now I've um, recently got a trailer and I can't tow it properly yet because I said I was still needing to get a bumper which I'd ordered. Well today that came. Um, it's pretty similar to the stock SCX1021 that's already on here. But uh, this solid one, it's a metal one, Chinese again, maybe this twelve pound I think it were twelve pound so not much comes with the usuals like the other one I did the other day uh, shackles little light kit and some brackets to bolt that in there so I'm gonna open that up and then we can get that on and then I can get the little proper tow bar on because I had a plastic one that goes in here but that'll be good for nothing really uh, and then I'll be able to use my trailer. Now this should be better pulling the trailer because there is quite a lot of weight up the front end with um, that big hefty bumper and winch and stuff in there. So I'm hoping this should do the job. Now it says it's for a TRX4 but looking at it the, the only difference is it's just not as deep as the one on here. So I'll open this up now and we'll have a look. I've got very little room on this table at the minute. I've just been doing anything and everything I see and trying to get what I can sorted. <laughs> so yeah, I've been uh, a RCs everywhere, but we're getting through them. And I've also decided to swap my daughter, um, my Wraith for her AX10. So now she can put her figures in there. So she's chuffed with that. I'm chuffed because I had two Wraiths anyway. I don't want the AX10, but I was going to part out a wraith, so it's a win-win all round. Anyway, this bumper. So there's a lot of similarities, an extreme lot of similarities. But this actually is it says for a TRX4 and not an SCX10. But um, the only thing is, it's going to bring it in a little bit more there. But that's no big deal. But again, this is just a cheap bumper, twelve pound. It, it come within two weeks, so it's not not the end of the world. It's not the longest time to wait out for. And uh, little lips on there to put the shackles. Not out there to mount the brackets to the um, rear cross member. And also, we have which I'm presuming is where the tow hitch will go and a little spot for some LEDs which all come in the kit now I don't need to show you what's what with this I'm just going to go ahead now and get this fitted onto here because we virtually went over this with the last bumper and because I'm a little bit cramped here with a little bit of room it just make it easier all around so I shall be back in a mold right so I've got this fitted nice and strong on there and um, it does come literally up to the back end but I actually like that better because when I'm like banking up hills and stuff this big thing that sticks out like six miles behind the thing uh, gets caught up a lot so I do actually like that it looks a more solid look for it and not only that I have the added bonus of that little bit of extra weight on my back end because all this lot up here fair ways on a bit so now basically all I need to do is um, go and weigh up this to my trailer and then I can work out where I want my tow hitch but I love the look of that I really do as I said it's for a TRX4 but on the back of this Jeep it looks spot on well, I personally think it does anyway and it's my truck and I'm the one running it so I'm happy with it and that's all that matters really but for any of you who are interested like I said they're um, about 12 quid on eBay and then I have the rims to go on this rig eventually here it is now it's daylight 
Um, this did have a silly big ball joint, and I mean it was massive. It just will not hitch any of the trailers I've got onto it. So I've just popped that in for now. I will find a shorter one at some point. Um, also, I got for um, my Jeep hard body. It's like a tall aerial with a screw on the bottom. Now I am going to bolt this to um, either that one or that one. Now the aerial, I were going to just drill into the hard body maybe have it coming up the bonnet or the roof here now if that were to take a tumble chances it's going to snap the hard body which i'd always like thought about but i still like the look of the aerial i don't know it's just little things i like there's some things i don't like but that's one of them um but now i've got this <laughs> i think it's just going to be better suited just here where at least if that takes a tumble there ain't really nothing getting broke but this is the bumper itself the tow hitch is in there, it's solid and the bumper's all nicely solid in there so I've got the shackles locked tighted on and stuff um, now really the only thing to do is uh, hook it up to a trailer and uh, go and take it for a little drive and see how it holds up so we'll continue this but yeah that's the TRX4 bumper off eBay again just a Chinese bumper like I say it cost me about 12 quid so nice cheap upgrade especially if you're looking for something more solid if you're pulling a trailer but yeah
spinning, fitted the full scale wheels. Good job, lad. Good job. So yeah, the bumper held up, pulling a 2.2 kilo trailer and a load on there, which the Wheeler King is only light, that doesn't weigh so much, but no, it held up, it had a little struggle on the gravel, coming up gravel, but again, that was a real loose surface, pulled through the mud quite alright, pulled on the grass, so yeah, this will be my main like, vehicle for hauling that trailer, as well as the other SCX-10 that I tried it with in the first trailer test video so the thing I like about this trailer as well is I've got a drift car up there which is temp scale so I can haul that about put some old crappy wheels on maybe spin it around in the tennis courts and stuff and uh, yeah it, it kind of opening my world up to different RC now it's like you know a short course truck or something or maybe another truggy or something would be fun to have to like haul about on the back of the trailer and then go to places where I were today where all the gravel's loose and there's good hill climbs to be blasting up and I don't know the trailer it's it kind of like I say it opens up another world another area of RC broadens that world it's not just like the crawlers and the trucks for me it's like I'm wanting other stuff now to go and venture and explore with but yeah that's the bumper I've said it a few times it cost me £12 off eBay really cannot knock it for the money um, like I say this bumper came and it wasn't the best quality not the best um, it had bubbling in the um, powder coating and stuff and the, you know the bars that bolt to the chassis the main like things <laughs> they were all ski with so you know in comparison for like a £12 bumper to a £60 bumper from RC4 wheel drive but yeah, it's one of them, maybe it was just bad in the batch, but there, you really cannot knock China on certain products. I have had Chinese products before and they are crap, and then I have other stuff which is just awesome. So, I hope you like that video. His knees jet washing off now, just get some of that loose mud off there. If you like the video, want to see more, give me a thumbs up, smash the subscribe button, don't forget to hit the notification bell. Do feel free to leave a comment in the comment section down below and I'll catch the rest of you guys in the next video. Ciao for now guys.